Hey guys, uh, CJ here from Fat Dog Furniture. Um, this is an update to the last video I posted where I had uh, made a wooden rendition of the American flag and uh, I was using a torch to give it the charred look. Well, uh, I built a frame. The frame I built out of uh, reclaimed barn wood. It's uh, two inch thick planking or it's just about eight quarter um, I milled it all down made my own moldings uh, I made cove moldings out of the same wood you know um, use the shaper cut them down it's it's pretty cool uh, I got it all framed out it's a tr early American like craftsman style frame and then uh, it's uh, assembled together with mortise and tenon um, joinery and then I drilled and pinned the uh, tenon with dowels it's pretty cool I like it I'm really proud of it uh, the customer that I built it for uh, turns out that it's not gonna fit in the space that he had uh, had envisioned so I'm gonna list it for sale here locally in New York and uh, see how it goes if it doesn't sell the uh, the guy who commissioned me to build it, um, I'm building him a smaller one. But uh, if it doesn't sell, uh, he will buy this, the big one as well. He's building a shop uh, on his property, and uh, he will. If I don't sell it, he'll he'll buy it and put it in his shop that he's putting up. So I'm okay with it. You know, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, I'm okay with it. You know, I'd love to have it hanging here in my barn. Uh, I don't have anything here that I don't have any pieces that I built here I've sold every piece or every piece that I built was for a customer so I have no no proof of my work other than pictures and video but anyway uh, enough of that I'm gonna spin this thing around and uh, let you guys see what I uh, see what I came up with um, I don't know how to I don't know how to make it flip, so I'm going to have to turn around and do it this way. I don't know if that's backwards for you guys or what it is. Let me see if I can uh, try something here. Hold on just one second. Yeah, I can't figure out how to do that. I don't know how to uh, flip it from the camera on the display to the camera on the back side. So, um, I guess I'll just flip it around. Now, what I don't know is if that's going to, that's probably going to air backwards, right? I think. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. Is that backwards? I can't tell. Maybe I'm backwards. That could very well be. It's been a long day. <laughs> so, here's the, uh... Here in the frame, you can see where I pinned the mortise and tenon that's in there. I should say the tenon. Um, so you guys can see it's, it's about two inches thick here. I made all of this trim. Uh, and the same as down on the bottom. Down here, I made all that. The stain is still a little damp. I gotta, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning and then clear it. I'm gonna use a just a very uh, a low sheen clear because I don't want it to be glossy and and all you know shiny like. So uh, I know you guys saw what the the charring did. It's kind of cool. I filmed the other video on my camera and I'm filming this one on my uh, tablet. So I'm hoping that the you know the anybody who watched the other video will be able to get a little better view of the how the charring is when you char the wood the painted wood it really raises up the grain so it makes it stand out which is really kinda cool I have uh, I have about 40 hours in this piece and that's from uh, the time of doing all the math to figure out the proportions of the American flag 
which I didn't know there was actual formulas for like the the width of this stripe and the width of this star and the the um, fly of the union the length of it everything is uh, commensurate with the height or the fly height of the flag which I mean I learned a lot so it's kind of cool um, you can figure out any size flag by following the you know the proportions this up here is just a brace that I have screwed to the rafter just so this doesn't flip over or, or you know I don't knock it over I guess it's probably more like it because if one of my dogs comes running in uh, they're fat asses I mean they'll knock over anything <laughs> um, the back of it is still not quite finished but uh, these are all individual pieces of of, uh, of of wood here and then they are the, you know they're all screwed screwed and glued and I'm going to take these screws out and put shorter screws in uh, I should say like a bugle head or a, 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 like a countersinking screw and uh, I just didn't have any when I put it together so I'm just going to uh, countersink everything so this way they're flush and you know nobody knows nothing uh, I use um, the American made by the way company um, called I believe it's called they're called hangman and what they are is uh, a really cool little system that uses a French cleat design this piece here weighs probably come on get out of there the piece itself complete probably weighs I'm gonna say somewhere around 60 pounds so I mean it's you know it's heavy it's it's all real wood reclaimed barn wood and uh, you know and some new wood I made the flag itself out of new wood and all the frame and everything out of out of reclaimed barn wood so here's what uh, yeah here we go here is what the hangers look like and what you do is you take this piece and you screw it to your wall and you adjust it so that your bubble sits level and then you take this piece and then you screw it to the back of your frame so that the uh, you know once it's up there the this little kick out catches the top of this kick out so when you pick it up and go to put it on the wall you just slide it on the wall and it catches right in it and these brackets right here are rated at a hundred pounds a piece these are the smaller 12 inch brackets so I'll put two of them on so they're capable of holding 200 pounds so I'll never ever have to worry about it coming down and it's really simple to pick it up you know take it off you know if you want to dust it vacuum it move it whatever you want to do so it's you know just easy pick it up and, and take it off the wall and you don't ever have to worry about it going like this or somebody bumping into it and moving it left to right and then all of a sudden it's crooked you know some people are a little anal when you walk in a room and God forbid if a picture's crooked I'm not one of them people but some people are and that's okay I'm not saying it's bad so I just gotta clear coat it and then uh, mount the uh, the hangers on it and that's it it's done so one more time there is my first attempt at a charred wood project um, I'm pretty proud to say that I built it I'm proud of my hands for having the ability to do so and uh, I'm proud of uh, proud of the flag I guess that's it for now I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get another update here in a week or so because I got another little project cooking before I start building this other smaller flag so we'll see how it goes uh, keep building guys Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.